What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, turkey season is quickly approaching. I think here in Iowa, we are down to under 20 days, I think. Um, if not, we're around 20 days, so well under a month. And I'll tell you what, I am very excited. Um, actually, I am going to film a turkey hunt in Nebraska two days from now. Um, my buddy Maya, you guys saw him in the last turkey video that I posted a couple videos ago. Um, he is going to go out to Nebraska. I'm going to go with him. Um, and we're going to be, he's going to be hunting some Merriams. So um, I am so excited. I am just, I've been getting my stuff ready the past couple days, just getting ready to go out and just film. I'm not even hunting, but I am so excited to just get out in the woods and film a turkey hunt. So I just figured uh, today I would show you guys kind of the stuff I will be using this season. Um, I really didn't do this last season because it was my first year. I didn't really have anything, to be honest. But this year I definitely have, uh, I guess, stocked up some stuff that I've been wanting to get. Um, I do still have some stuff that I need to order off of Amazon. And actually the money that I'm using towards that is from you guys buying my merch. So I want to give a big thank you to everyone who did. Um, I think my profits right now are $140 and then I'll be taking roughly 10% of that. So I think like 15, 20, 20 bucks, something like that. Um, and that'll go to Ducks Unlimited. So I'll be saving that up till I get a decent amount and then I'll donate it. But once again, a lot of that money that I'll be using to buy the rest of the stuff I want, um, as far as camera gear and audio equipment, um, is all because of you guys ordering my merch. So thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. But I guess we'll get right into it right now. So I did buy a decoy. Um, I think I showed you guys that in the turkey video a couple of videos ago, just at the beginning. But um, it's a flex tone. Uh, I can't remember the exact name, but it's basically for reaping turkeys. Um, it's not an avian. I know I could have got an avian one, but I think the flex tone one was the best price for it looks pretty good for i think it was 50 bucks um it did come with the artificial fan but i actually put one of my old my second turkey fan that i got last year on this it actually looks really good and i think it will work very well um yeah i'm just excited to use it i want to kill at least one of my turkeys with it i do plan on trying to fill my two Iowa tags as well as possibly in May after Iowa four season, I might go over to Nebraska and try to get a bird over there. We'll see. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think it's going to work. It looks really well and I think it's going to be fun to uh, reap a turkey this year. So next, I guess we'll get into my vest that I bought. This is something that I really contemplated for about a month, what I wanted to get. I was looking and looking on Amazon and anything like any website really shields dunham's uh cabela's bass pro and i wanted to get the hunter specialties it's like a 50 dollars vest because just because i wanted to go cheap i wanted to just get an intro level entry level vest but i ultimately decided to get this nomad uh just because of the fact that i know i'm going to be hunting for pretty much the rest of my life so i figured why not get a vest that's going to last me quite a few years before I, rather than getting a cheaper vest that may, may only last me a few seasons. So this is the MG, or the Nomad MG vest. Um, it was, I think, $120, $130. Um, so a little pricey, but I really like the way it fits and the way it looks. Um, it's got a lot of pockets and everything. Um, it's got, I'll try to get the, get it closer here for you but the uh the, the seat is very thick super comfy it's like two and a half three inches thick um very very comfy i've already went out and scouted with it and just i could literally fall asleep in it not gonna lie but um it's got these really strong magnets right here i am gonna use these uh clips right here that clip it on just because it does tend to come off sometimes when you're like running faster or something. As you can see, I've already got a Mountain Dew in there from when I went and scouted, but the shoulder or the, the straps right here have nice padding in them. And I think it'll definitely take the pressure off like the top of my shoulder and it's gonna put it more right here. And at least it's got all that padding right there. So um, 
It has a lot of pockets. It has a bunch of pockets right inside, two zippers. One goes all the way down and then one goes about halfway. This back padding is about an inch thick. You can take it out if you want, but it, I like it in there. It definitely helps when you're leaning up against a tree or something. And then as far as this side goes, this is pretty much where all the goodies are. Um, this is the slate call pocket. I will go over my call here in a minute. Um, and that that's what it looks like. And I know recently they changed this from like a, I think that it was like Snap-on or Velcro in a couple years past, but they changed it to this little like uh, elastic bungee thing where it just hooks on there. Um, it's got three spots for strikers. And then it's got call pockets right here, mouth call pockets. I actually put them up in this zipper right here just for the fact that I didn't want them to fall out of here, but it's just whatever your preference is. Um, I guess I forgot on this side, it's got a, it does have a spot for a thermocell if you want to get one of them for keeping the mosquitoes away and bugs away and stuff. Uh, it also has a spot for a box call, so it's got a lot of pockets, that's what I really liked about it. Um, and once again it has all those same pockets that were on that side, on the inside, on this side, so. Yeah, I cannot wait to use this vest this year. Like I said, I already went out and scouted with it, and it was really nice just because it had so many options. Um, I guess I forgot to go over the back here. Uh, it's got this big decoy pocket, um, or I think you can fit, even fit a bird in there, depending on how big it is. But I pretty much will just use that for a decoy if I do tend to, or if I do happen to get like a Jake decoy or um, a hen or something like that. But I actually plan on using it just for storage of like either camera gear or um, I do plan on buying like a, a ghillie blanket just to put over my camera gear when I'm filming, if I'm filming someone else's hunt. I also am gonna buy like a water bladder. Um, instead of using water bottles this year, I do wanna buy like one of those water bladders you can put in like a backpack. I'm just gonna slip it down in here and I'll run the tube right through this little Nomad uh, tag right here, and I think that'll work really well. So that's my plan for that. And then I guess now I will go over my calls. So first of all, my slate call that I bought was uh, Hooks Custom Calls. I don't know, you guys probably can't read that, but it was cheap call, 25 bucks. I didn't really want to spend a lot of money this year on calls just because I'm still kind of a beginner. So I didn't really want to focus too much on my money on that. Um, it sounds pretty good, honestly. That was pretty rusty, but you guys get the point. Decent call for the money. You get what you pay for. And I think it sounds great for a beginner, someone like me. Um, as far as mouth calls go, uh, I already have them out of the packages here, but I got the... I think this is like $6, $7 Zinc Yelper. Um, yeah, just simple call. All it is is a Yelper, so nothing too fancy there. And then I also got the uh, Woodhaven Ninja Half Venom. There's that. And then I'll grab them out here for you. That one was about 15 bucks, I think. Bought that at Shields. So this is the Yelper right here. And then this is that Woodhaven. Um, Woodhaven half venom right there. So I guess I can try to demonstrate these for you. Don't judge me on my calling. I'm still working on it, but I really like the sound of that one. Um, I like the more raspy calls, especially for mouth calls. Obviously the slate calls, you can pretty much do whatever you want on them. Um, as far as the raspiness, you can just, you can change the sound a little bit more on that. Um, for, the, for the Yelper here, this one's really simple. It's really, you're not gonna get any rasp out of it at all, really. I actually think I'm better on the Woodhaven one than this one, but.
Got a little squeak there, but anyways, you guys get the point. Those are my calls for this year. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, like I said, I just wanted to go over all the stuff I'm gonna be using. Um, before I end the video here, I do wanted to, or excuse me, I did want to tell you guys what else I plan on buying. So like I already said, I plan on buying a water bladder to put in my vest here just to eliminate the water bottle situation because you guys know how that is. If you hunt, they're all noisy, especially when there's not a lot of water in them. I wanted to get rid of that, so I'm gonna get a water bladder. I also plan on buying a new housing for my GoPro and then as well as um, an adapter to where I can plug in like a road mic, a shotgun mic on top of my GoPro. So that's about a hundred bucks just right there. And then like I said, I do plan on buying like a ghillie blanket. That way I can just cover myself as well as part of my camera gear when I'm out in the woods um, just to kind of eliminate the factor of having those turkeys see me when I'm filming, especially with all the, sometimes all the GoPro stuff and the camera gear can kind of put a shine out. So I want to eliminate as much as I can and decrease my chances of getting spotted by a turkey. So oh. I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I am very ready to get out in the woods and get hunting turkeys this year. Um, I got a big spring planned ahead of me, a lot of stuff going on, um, and it should be a fun time. We're going to get, I think I'm going to try to get quite a few videos out. Um, we'll see how much I can, how much I can do. I don't want to push myself too hard to get too much out. I still have college and a lot of other things I need to focus on, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun this season. I can't wait to get out with all my buddies and friends. I think you guys are going to enjoy all the videos that I put out. And uh, overall, it should be, a, should be a successful season. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But if you guys want to go check out my merch, I know I'm not wearing it today. I don't know why. But um, you can go check out the Turbo Outdoors merch down in the link in the description. Um, also, go follow me on Instagram. I do have TikTok now. So all of that, you just search Turbo Outdoors and you'll see my logo up there and it'll be me. So I think that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you guys come back to watch all the videos this season. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.